it's me V and today I'm going to be testing my gore tolerance again but this time with cross jeans black or white so let's see how this goes Lately, I've been gravitating to horror, whether it be my series or my movie choices. I watched The Haunting of Blaine Manor, which was perfectly splendid. <laughs> I can always turn to a good music video, which basically has everything that I need. And so that is why I plan on testing my gore tolerance today. And I have Moonrider to thank for this because they had actually suggested that I check out this music video, especially since Vix's Voodoo doll wasn't that terrifying to me. So I'm kind of excited for the dancing storyline as well as the dark concept that I'm about to see. I can't say that I'm a lot more excited this time than worried because I have a feeling that this is going to be epic. So let us enjoy the dark masterpiece that awaits us. I'd also be really pleased if I just started vomiting blood. The music is actually pretty good. Ooh, him and all that black. Oh my god! That's really good acting! Oh, that's a way to go! What a way! Man got stabbed by a scalpel! They kind of look similar though! The guy in the black... The one that stabbed the guy. Ooh. That's not a good way to go. She man, don't stab a man. Guy, they look so different. Well, it's kind of his fault for sleeping in a coffin in the first place. They're killing the other selves. It's a fight between themselves. 
No wonder they look similar. They're kidding themselves. South love, y'all. It's important. I know they just died and I'm like drooling off the ooh they are looking fine ooh <laughs> You know what would be cool if like the eyes open? I always see this when like there's shots of dead people and then the eyes just open and I'm like plot twist. He's alive! <gasps> He's alive! They're all alive! They didn't die! Coffin nailed shut. He got blood on his hands though. Blood on his hands. Like he killed a man. Well, technically, he killed himself. This dude was swimming in blood. But isn't blood is a little bit thicker? I don't know. This dude had it tough. I feel like he had it the worst. I think it's better than getting bludgeoned to death with a baseball bat. I don't know what I was saying. I'm kind of sad that it was over so quick, but I really, really liked the storyline. They were basically fighting their inner selves. And even though the, I don't know whether it was black or white. <gasps> Black or white? Okay, now we get it. Meaning they're good versus they're bad. Wow, that took me too long. That shouldn't have taken me that long to figure it out. So their good side was fighting their bad side. And I think their bad side killed them. And it's the good side that woke up. Because good always wins. Because they were angels. They were white. Okay, yes. So that's what happened. Really cool concept though. Because people always have this battle between them. Of what they should and shouldn't do and I feel this was well executed I really enjoyed it the fact that they were playing two characters and yet looked so different was mind-blowing to me because I didn't realize that they were the same people because I don't know about the group I don't know the members so the fact that they look so different as well as the guy's facial expression when he was drowning himself was it was scary, like dude, you should probably become an actor and play a psychopathic role because that look was sick, but sick in a good way. I feel like there's no way this is rated 19 plus because it wasn't graphic, I feel. Okay, it's sort of graphic when the guy got hit by a baseball bat as well as a hammer. The guy in the coffin got hit by a hammer. Okay, so it's sort of graphic. The thing is, I don't have a scale of what I would be afraid of, so I don't know what I would find scary. But what I can say is I really enjoyed that music video and the song is pretty catchy. I honestly can't get over how good the concept was. The battle of your mind it can get pretty scary after you realize who you want to be, are you that person and which part of you you want to keep. So it's pretty deep actually and, and I'm sure this concept means a lot to them especially since after becoming idols how have they changed and which parts of their character have changed for the better or for the worse they constantly have to judge themselves and I feel in that sense the song is extremely powerful especially since it could be a metaphor for their life and what they are going through Oh, now that I think about it this was solely based on the concept and there was no dancing. It was sort of like a mini movie. I think they did justice to the story that they were trying to tell. And 
the music video itself was very entertaining. So that was me reacting to Cross Jeans Black or White and I have to say it was bloody good. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to share with a friend, maybe like and subscribe. And from me, V, peace!